and welcome to New England Escapades. Today we visited the Boot Cotton Mills Museum in Lowell, Massachusetts. Here's what we learned on our adventure. Built in 1835 on the side of the Merrimack River, the Boot Mills Complex is the most intact mills complex in Lowell. Founded by Kirk Boot, the mills produced textiles used primarily for curtains. It employed the Waltham Lowell system, which enabled all aspects of production to be completed in a single plant. Spinning, weaving, dyeing, and cutting were all completed on site, which allowed for a large amount of control over the end product. Most of the machines, which produced an incredible amount of noise, were operated by women known as mill girls. The mill girls numbered over 6,000 at the height of the textile revolution. During the 19th century, waves of immigrants, Irish, French Canadian, Greek, Polish, and Portuguese, arrived in Lowell looking for job opportunities in the exploding textile industry. Meanwhile, Massachusetts adopted progressive child labor protection, which, as a cut into their bottom line, was likely not appreciated by the mill owners. The mill complexes were often expanded, and steam power and eventually electric power were introduced. At the beginning of the 20th century, the New England textile industry was in a steep decline. Many plant owners had opened mills in the south with cheaper labor, and were undercutting the prices of textiles produced in New England. This eventually caught up with boot mills, which closed its doors in 1958. However, the mill was acquired by the Lowell National Historical Park in 1970. While part of the mills currently makes up the Boot Cotton Mills Museum, other buildings are used for condos, apartments, and offices. A nearby row of mill girl housing still stands and features exhibits as well. Currently, the Boot Cotton Mills Museum contains a number of authentic period looms that are still functional in a scaled-down reproduction of the original weave room. The actual weave room would have had around 200 to 250 looms. Due to the noise, workers would hold flags to communicate with one another. The looms used here still produce actual cloth that is used to make dish towels that are available in the museum's gift shop. We happen to visit during their lunch break, but National Park Service staff members are on duty operating the machines for most of the day. Upstairs, there are a number of exhibits exploring not only the mill equipment, but the lives of everyone affected by the mills. The mill girls are of course covered extensively, but every role from the smallest to the owner of the mills is on display. There's even a theater that shows a short film on the history of the mills. Also upstairs is an exhibit on the decline of the New England textile industry, as well as the modern textile industry. It explores the complicated nature of textiles produced overseas, as well as the rebirth of Lowell following the drastic loss of the textile industry. There's a lot to do and see at Boot Cotton Hills Museum and its surrounding area. We'd recommend planning to spend time not just in the museum, but in the area walking by the Merrimack River and seeing the other historical buildings around. It's located at 115 John Street in Lowell, Massachusetts. It's about 40 minutes from Boston, and there's a relatively inexpensive parking garage located a short walk away. Visiting is a great way to experience some of the history that makes Lowell truly unique. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and keep on adventuring!